Hello, welcome to this episode of Light My Videos. Today uh, we are continuing the uh, line notes, the Kali line notes. Yeah. Now, uh, in the other video, I showed how to download it. Now, uh, this is how to kind of the press involved in installing it. That's the first video. Is this one now? Uh, installing Linux is uh, can be done in many ways. I can do it over the internet. That's by network. You can do it uh, by burning to the CD. You can do it on uh, by making a pen drive bootable, right? Now, uh, around the one that's kind of most popular nowadays is the using the pen drive, and that's the kind of new one available because the Dex kind of way is being out smoothed somehow. So today we start by uh mounting and uh mounting and making our drives bootable but then uh there are two popular okay there was the one major popular software that's used for this uh that's the rufus that's r-u-f-u-s or the rufus however you call it and uh there's another one that's on most computers but people don't use it much let me see they don't really know about it but if i use it for the bootable pen drive kind of thing and that's the power iso yeah power iso and i actually prefer the power iso more than the rufus so let's start by using the power iso so you compare the power iso to the uh the rufus so let's start by using the the power iso so we start by opening the power iso First, make sure your pen drive is kind of inserted into it. Then you go to tools. After tools, you go to uh, create a bootable USB drive. Yeah. Then make sure the pen drive is the name of the pen drive. Then here you choose a USB HDD, right? Then you choose where the Linux file is, or you can at least install any kind of operating system, whether Windows, Debian, the Linux, the Mac OS, that's for the iOS, or uh, any kind of OS. Now, you click on open and choose on USB HDD, right? Remember it, right? Then you click on start. Yeah, overwrite the decks. That's total size is three gig. Right here with the decks. Uh, then it will start making the drive with a bit. So it has started. So let's wait for it to finish. And it's done. It's done. So you close it, then uh, you reboot your computer. After I'm going to show you how to use the Rufus. After Rufus, I'll reboot it and show you the bootable how to boot the pen drive. So uh, here is the Rufus. Rufus. So for the Rufus, uh, you select a drive from here. If you have multiple drives in your machine, select a drive. Then select the where the file is the ISO. Here's it, the Kali Linux. It can be Windows or anything. But here I don't have a Kali Linux, so here's it. Then you choose the you change the file system to NTFS. Then you click on let's see start. See this system requires use of uh uh this 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 by this application will include so, so you have to download it from the internet for the windows will come normally but for the line this is what will happen so then you click on yes it will try to download your file so you can download the file from the internet so she download 100 percent so now you choose a recommended iso mode yes and click on yes so then it will start uh, deleting the partition of the drive and recreating it, clearing everything. Post, let's see, so format the drive. 
kind of uh -huh, then you start creating it uh -huh. so uh, now it's done click on close so it's between you to choose between the power iso and the uh and the rope force so when you're done you have to restart your computer then you boot from the pen drive so you restart your computer then you press kind of f12 after pressing f12 the boot menu will come then you choose uh the usb storage device or the external something something used yeah kind of then or uh, you press enter then it start booting and I'll come Kali Linux. So the next video will be about which one to choose and how to install it properly. Thank you. Subscribe and share.